Brian Van Dyne here. I just passed that uh, big Amazon warehouse they just put in over here in uh, Lakewood and it got me thinking about business and you know the years that I've been in business and kind of you know what's happened since I've been in business and and uh, you know to get straight to the point it's like you know when Jeff Bezos started Amazon he was selling books online you know that was his thing and now he pretty much sells everything on Amazon right you can pretty much buy anything on there from truck parts to groceries uh, and you know that's kind of like how when I started business the first thing I was doing was I was working for excavation contractors, you know. Uh, a lot of basement digouts is what I was rented on. Either they were doing basement digouts or I did a lot of utilities too. My first year and then my second year it was basically all paving. My second summer was almost all paving. And then by my third year of business, I bought the Super Dump, and then I started working for the Rock Quarry. And, uh, you know, ever since, that's what I've been doing mainly. It's just working for the Rock Quarry. And, uh, you know, so when you go into business, when you go buy a truck, you know, you think you're going to be doing this specific thing. So you kind of want to spec your truck out for this one specific thing. But the problem is, is if you spec it out to a certain aspect of the industry, you're kind of locked into that aspect. You know, it doesn't allow you to move around as much, uh, you know, and find what you really want to do and what you really like doing. You know, for example, if I would have bought a truck with an aluminum box, uh, you know, I probably never would have did a lot of the demolition uh, utility work that I did because they were putting big chunks of concrete in my truck. You know, and having a steel box was almost a necessity. If, if, you know, if I would have started with the side dump, I wouldn't have done no paving at all. You know? It's just, when you go into business, you have to think about what kind of niche you want to be in. You know, what kind of stuff you think you see yourself being, you know, doing. And then you got to kind of gear it towards that. But also buy a truck that's versatile. You know, Super Dump's a great truck to buy in Washington, but at the same time, they're not very versatile because you're not putting concrete in one. The, the beds are too thin. You know, you're not putting boulders in there. You know, uh, the beds are really thin, so you don't want to be putting that big stuff in there because it'll dent it to pack it back. Truck, but just know you're only 
only going to be doing that one thing. You're not going to be able to move around within the industry unless you buy another truck. You know, and we all know trucks are not cheap. So it's, uh, you know, you kind of get locked into doing one particular thing. And the other thing, my other advice I'd give to you is. Don't don't limit yourself to one customer or two customers, you know. Try and get as many customers as you can, you know. Get your name out there because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, that's how you trip and fall and crack them all. You know, so... Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to tell you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this on your social media site of preference. Now, I'll catch you guys on the next one.